Hi, Johnny from WP Johnny here, and I'm going to show you the quickest way to set up Swift Performance. I'm going to use my favorite settings, and it will get you up and running and having your site cache nicely in no time. So first, I'm going to show you how to set up the Swift Performance Lite version. So usually when we first turn it on, you're, you're probably going to see something like this, a setup wizard. You click on menu configuration and you'll get there. If you don't see that, you can hover your mouse over the, the Swift Performance Lite, click on settings, and you'll also get there. First thing I'll do, I'll click on advanced view so we see all the options. If you're on a VPS or a high powered server, I actually might prefer it like this. If you're on a, sh a slow shared server, then you might prefer that. So up to you. Okay, most of you are gonna be in a, sh a slow crappy shared server, so leave that on. We'll go to tweaks. Okay, here you can put your 301 uh, HTTPS uh, redirects. If you don't know what the, those are, you can look it up. You can also look it up on my website. Uh, disable heartbeat, I, I can leave this alone, but if you want, if you have time, I would do something like this. Maybe something like that. Okay. Cron jobs, we can't do anything there. I don't mess with that. I don't mess with this. I turn off lazy load. I leave iframes on and I check that. Okay, I take this off. I don't want any extra processing. I never want to limit threads, by the way. Okay, I leave all this off. Sometimes it's uh, all that stuff is checked. If you want to minify HTML, you can do it from Cloudflare. I leave that off. I leave that off. I don't use that. I put this on action-based mode. I put this on rewrites, not PHP. I make sure this browser cache is checked. There is, I make, sure, I make sure gzip is checked. Some of you with broadly enabled on your server, you, you don't need that, or you can have that anyway. Separate mobile cache, if you are using AMP or some kind of plugin that, that loads a, a different version of your site for mobile users, then you can select this. All right, and can't choose any of those. Up here, I basically choose every option so that only pages, posts, and products are available. All right, that would be the, the standard. So I just check all that. That way all those are excluded. And later on, if you realize, oh no, portfolios, or I got, you have some other kind of post types where like recipes or something that actually do show on the front end, then go ahead and you know click that so that they are included in the cache. Here, uh, checkout and my account pages for WooCommerce are automatically uh, excluded by default. But what I would like to do is I always exclude any page that has forms, for example, like contact pages. In the warm-up, I pre-build cache automatically. Um, if you have the option for unlimited, pick unlimited. Just pick the highest speed you can. Pre-build archive, uh, I usually leave that on. That's your category. It pre-caches pre all the category pages. Varnish, I mean, almost nobody uses Varnish anymore unless you're in Cloudways. You can check that. I don't mess with this. Okay, if you see any special optimizations for certain plugins, if you have access, that's fine. Cache empty mini cart, yes. CDN, go here. If you're using Cloudflare or CDN, you hit save changes and we're done. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit save changes. That's fine. Image optimizations, only if, if you pay. Database only, oh. Um, so some of these you can use these if you want, but we're no longer in the cache plugin. So we've done the free version and now let's do the paid version. Oh, I kept the settings. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And we're back here. All right. So here you enter your purchase key. Okay, okay, see there's more options now. Um, I still don't, I just don't like to use lazy lazy load. This is great for YouTube Smart Embed, leave that on. All these server push, blah, 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 I don't use any of that. If you have to limit simultaneous threads, threads because it's a shared environment, they have three, you can raise it to five or, or, or lower it to one for, for a site that you don't want to eat up as much resources lower. Okay, uh, if you don't need jQuery Migrate, you can click this. If you're not sure, click it and see if everything works. If everything works, great, leave it on. If not, turn it back off. 
I leave that off. Um, everything is like the same like before. And I just want to see if there's a few extra things. And so it's pretty cool. This, the free version has so many options. So, say, so you, I would do that for Contact Form 7 for WooCommerce. I would actually just leave it like this. I would not use any of the other stuff unless you're loading different prices or something for different users. Um, I don't disable. Uh, uh, you, you can try to say any, any, uh, I would use don't disable because most e-commerce sites have the shopping cart on every page. That's basically it. Session, ca session cash, I, it hasn't been so smooth for me. I, I just wouldn't use that. Okay, Debbie, so optimize a critical font. If you're using, um, oh, oops, I, you can't see it, but if you're using uh, Font Awesome 4 or older, then go here and there, you're gonna click a button that says, uh, it's like list critical fonts or scan, scan fonts or something. And then right here, I'll say NQ critical font and you click that. So you click this and then you click this. And then over here, um, for now, we don't mess with that. And then you're done. So that's it. You'll have your site sped up in like 30 seconds. Thanks for watching.